that nobody on Game of Thrones is safe. Yes. Look what happened to Jon Snow. I know. Jesus, and he just upset them. You know what I mean? Kit, write a thank you note. Yeah, he's dead. Everyone don't believe me. A lot of the cast, everyone's like, I can't be dead, but for real. He's dead, but is he coming back? I don't know. Fans of the show are still saying he's coming back, he's coming back. I know. White Walker, is there hope, Amelia? There's always hope. Game of Thrones should teach us there's always hope. You never know. Fans are saying he's coming back. Oh, okay, okay. Well, it's good that they have hope. It's good that they have faith. I've read a script, I haven't seen him in it. So I think he's sure he might be dead. But um, there you go. I'm not ruining anything by telling you that. I'm pretty sure he's dead, but we'll see. I think David and Dan, our producers, even told President Obama he's dead, so... Alright, if they've told President Obama, then maybe we should start realising maybe Jon Snow is not coming back. The key thing is that they're going to be satisfied by the outcome. I'm not going to say what the outcome is, but I think that it's been written, it's been paced in such a way that it's going to be a very satisfactory conclusion to that whole mystery. Daenerys, the end of last season, we see she's in trouble. Yeah, yeah, she's, yeah, the last time you saw her, she was kind of a little lost. In every way. Is she back with the Dothrakis? She gets, she get. I mean, yes. She's, well, it's a, it's a journey. She's on a journey. Dario and Jora are trying to track her down. Um, and so, which is pretty interesting because Dario and, Dor and Jora are not necessarily a great, you know, a duo. <laughs> Daenerys is in trouble. We saw her in trouble at the end of last season. So what does that mean for you? I guess it means <laughs> the Sunday's kind of left in Marine waiting for Daenerys. And uh, she's been left in, I guess, a position of power and responsibility in her absence, which is new for her. Please tell me things get better for Cersei. Because it can't get much worse, can it? They get better in a more <laughs> in a crazier way. What happens this season for you and Sansa? Because we saw you escape. Thank goodness we see you get away. Yeah, we, we die. We die in the first episode. That jump killed us, so we're just dead. Now, I guess you're going to see um, you see that relationship flourish. Um, and that's about all I can say. Well, we basically just pick up kind of where we left off. We're on the run now from, from Ramsey because he's bound to be coming after us. So the whole Bolton army, we're on the run and we're trying to find a safe place, basically. Arya's gone blind, and this series I had to do a lot of, my, all of my scenes blind. Um, and they, the contact lenses are really difficult. I get told a lot that I act through my eyes, and my eyes are very emotive. And so when that's taken away, how do I do my job? But yeah, it was great fun, and I learned a lot of new skills, and I'm very happy with, with the job that I did. You had these special contact lenses made? Yeah, I had these big contact lenses. I had a couple of different lenses, because Aria gets very physical with the, with the blindness this series. So by season four, Bran had finally made it to, uh, to the cave uh, of the Three-Eyed Raven. Um, and the Three-Eyed Raven is this strange kind of mythical sage type uh, Giza who's who in season five, when we didn't see Bran, he's been teaching Bran the way of green sight, it's green seeing and, and the vision and the sight, which is Bran's ability to look back in time and forward in time. And basically when we meet him in, in season six, he's, uh, he's not quite a pro, but he can do some really cool things with his power. Now that um, Stannis is gone, what does that mean for Davos this season? It's funny, not just Davos, Melisandre's in the same the same merd, as they say in Paris. In Paris. Um, we've lost our reason for being in the show, almost. That's the guy we worked for. And even though our loyalties were kind of moving over towards Jon Snow, bang, he's been whipped from us as well. So there's a bit of us twiddling our thumbs, waiting for the next mission, whatever that may be. You are so evil. Is it possible you could get even more evil this season? I think so, yeah. I think... I think he's going to do some horrendous things this year again, yeah. He's always got room to be more evil, I think, Ramsey. If, big if, Daenerys was getting killed off, yes. how would you like to see her go out? So I've said in the past, and recently, very recently, that I, would, I think it would be funny if she got really close to the Iron Throne and then just exploded. You've been speaking up and defending how Game of Thrones shows women. Do you, do you think it's crazy that you've been having to talk out for that, considering the strong female characters you have on the show? Yeah. Time and time again, we get kind of critiqued, which is ridiculous, I think, because so we, 
I feel like Game of Thrones started and we brought the empowering women on screen back into the conversation again in such a way that it's not just one, it's all of us. Every single woman on the show has a huge amount of power. And I think that, um, yeah, I think that kind of gets ignored because people are kind of think that the uh, the nature of our show maybe is is pushing too many boundaries. TVs will explode when season six airs. I'm hearing that this is the best season. It's, it, I mean, it's silly. It's like, I didn't know that anyone could fit this much into an episode, this much into a season, but we've done it and like, yeah, you might need like a breather halfway through each episode. I guess there's been so many years of, of, of characters moving in opposite directions and now it's all coming back together.